Hello! Right, for this video, for the, uh, what are we, spring, spring 2017 newsletter, I think that's where we are, I thought I would show you a tiny snippet of the reading pile that's currently in my bedroom. So one of the perks of being a writer is that quite often you get sent books to read quite often before they've been before they're going to be published uh, quite a few months in advance and so upstairs I've got about 30 or 40 books that I'd quite like to read or that have been sent to me um, with a request to read them and I'm going to show you two, four, six of them. Um, now I haven't started reading these yet I can't say yet whether I recommend them they're just books that I am going to read. So the first one Lying in Wait by Liz Nugent, who is really lovely. I'm actually reading her first book at the moment, Unraveling Oliver. I'm really enjoying it, so I'm looking forward to this. The back says, Lydia Fitzsimons lives in the perfect house with her adoring husband and beloved son. There's just one thing Lydia craves to make her life complete, and she is determined that her husband will get it for her. The last thing she expects is that her obsession will lead to murder. Sounds good, doesn't it? I like that. Um, now the next book, A Boy Made of Blocks, this is by Keith Stewart. Um, I heard about this book quite a long time ago when it was first bought um, and I was really struck by it and I asked for a copy um, because this is about a guy, um, Alex, a 30-something dad who connects with his eight-year-old autistic son by playing Minecraft and I'm um, my children play Minecraft I'm sure lots of you have got kids who play Minecraft or you play it secretly yourselves um, and I just thought that was a great concept and so really looking forward to, to reading that these two books actually um, that I've just talked about are both on the Richard and Judy spring book club list um, coincidentally uh, so yeah looking forward to those right what's next um, oh, now this is a book that just everybody on Twitter is talking about at the moment. It's called uh, Fierce Kingdom. Um, it's by Gin Phillips. Gin? Gin. Gin Phillips. We'll go with, we'll go with Gin. Um, and uh, yeah, everyone's talking about it. It's it's huge. It's gone to auction all over the world. Um, it's got a lovely cover. I don't know if this is the final cover, but I think that's um, really evocative. It is. Let's read what it's about. Um, so Fiona Barton, who wrote The Widow, says, It tore at every maternal fibre in my body. I couldn't put it down. Fair enough. Um, Fierce Kingdom begins in a zoo near closing time as Joan tries to persuade her four-year-old son Lincoln that it's time to leave his favourite place and head home. As they rush towards the exit, she realises that the firecrackers she heard earlier were gunshots and they're in horrifying danger. I'm going to start that tonight, I think. That sounds amazing. Oh, brilliant. Right, really looking forward to reading that. What else have I got? I don't know anything about this, okay? The Hidden Room. This is a Stella Duffy book. Again, this, this almost certainly won't be the finished cover. The back says, Life is good for Laurie and Martha. They have three great kids, a much-loved home. Everything's perfect, except it isn't. Someone is about to walk into their happy family and tear it apart. And the letter from um, the publicist talks about this, about Stella Duffy's return to crime. So she started her career writing crime novels and now she's returned with what's being called a powerful psychological thriller that is profound and gripping. What do you think? Do you like the sound of that? Does that sound good? Um, Okay, next we've got one of my favourite authors, Colette Macbeth, her new book, An Act of Silence. I don't know, when's it out? Let's see. Um, it doesn't say. Probably says somewhere. Oh, there we go, June. It's not out till June, or you can have a look at the cover on the there. An Act of Silence. I just love Colette's books. She um, her, her last book, which was called... Um, the Life You Left Behind, The Life I Left Behind, I can't remember which one, I think it's The Life You Left Behind, is absolutely sensational. Her debut, Precious Things, was, was brilliant. I just She's just one of my favourites. So I'm really looking forward to reading that. And finally, last but not least, look what I've got. 
There's nobody that doesn't know who Paula Hawkins is, is there? Girl on the Train. Paula Hawkins. This is her second book. It's out on the 2nd of May. Um, I've got a copy of it. So I, oh, how could I not read that? So these, all books that I'm going to read, um, out of these, which one would you read first? Find me on Facebook, look me up on Twitter, and let me know. I'd love to hear what you think.